Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing with you guys two easy, delicious lunch slash dinner ideas. The first one is rice with stewed chicken and garlic butter broccoli. I actually did share it with this with you guys in a previous video but I wanted to bring it back and share with you guys again so I have the broccoli and some baking soda and water add some wings and a pasta sauce that I'll be using in this recipe and also have the rice it's a very delicious recipe it might not be the easiest but it is very delicious so once I left the broccoli to soak for a while I'm just gonna rinse it and just get rid of all the dirt or any box or what's not out of it. So next I'm going to measure one cup of rice and this is something that I use. Uh, for every one cup of rice I use four cups of water to cook it and it always cooks to perfection every single time. So now I'm just going to rinse the rice and just get rid of some of the extra starch in it. Focus on So I'm going to go ahead and let the broccoli cook for about 2-3 to three minutes and I'm going to get started on the rice and the chicken. For the chicken I'm going to stew it using brown sugar. I'm just going to let it melt and then let it come to a color where it, the chicken will get this nice brown color. And I'm going to add the chicken in and some water and let that just boil until the chicken um, gets all of the color from the sugar basically. Now the water has come to a boil and I'm going to go ahead and add in the rice. I'm going to add some salt and some pepper and some oil and just let that cook. For the broccoli I'm just going to saute some garlic in the butter so that the butter can get the garlic flavor. I'm just going to put the broccoli in and I'm going to put in a flavor pepper into the chicken. This is how the chicken is cooking when it's half done. I added the pasta sauce and some seasoning and this is how it's looking once it is done and the rice is done and so is the broccoli and this is how everything is looking once it is plated up. It was really delicious. The most surprising part of the dish was the broccoli was really nice and the broccoli absorbed all of the butter and garlic flavor and it was very tender but not soggy. So let's move on to the second one. This is a very easy one. This is a one pot chicken and pasta. Coincidentally, I'm wearing the same dress. These one are filmed on the same day. Um, this one was filmed yesterday and the other one was oh, some weeks ago. So I have tried this recipe before but it was rice instead of pasta. So now I've already cleaned and cut up the chicken. I'm just going to go ahead and season them with some chicken season, some black pepper and some salt. I'm just going to mix them up and if it needs more seasoning, I'm going to add more. So in a pan, I'm going to add some oil. This was too much oil, so I took out some. Um, you just need to just um, oil the pan itself. And you're just going to put the chicken skin side down and let it get like a nice set on it. And once it is cooked on that side, it has a really nice um, crispy top. Um, you're going to turn it. In the meantime, I'm just going to cut up the veggies that I'm going to be using in the dish. <laughs> So this is how the chicken is looking once they are turned and you guys can see the nice like said and crispy um, top so I'm going to be using this pasta it's an 8 ounce So now that the chicken are fully cooked I'm going to take them out now you don't have to fully cook the chicken because you're going to put them back in while you're cooking the pasta and all the rice you got so 
so once you take out the chicken you're gonna see that these bits like could be skin or like season that came off whatever you're gonna use that so I'm gonna add the veggies that I cut up and I'm gonna use the spoon and kind of scrape off all of those little bits that is stuck because this is what the pasta is gonna get all its flavor from if you have kids and you want to try this meal with them you can use sausage and whatever left back from the sausage you can scrape it um, and then add the pasta to it now I'm gonna add the pasta I'm just gonna mix it in with the vegetables and like the scraps of the chicken and the seasoning together and let it sit for like a minute and I'm gonna add some water to it now I'm going to add two cups of water to the pasta pasta is a funny thing and it absorbs a lot of water so when you think it's enough to cook it it's not I actually had to add probably four cups of water four and a half cups in total for this recipe so I add another cup because I realized it wasn't enough I'm just gonna mix it so once the pasta is covered in the water I'm just gonna add the chicken onto it I did not add any seasoning or salt onto the pasta because of the bits of seasoning from the chicken and also the ch chicken is going to be there while the pasta is cooking and it's just gonna absorb all of that so the only time that I added salt to the pasta was when it needed more water and when I tasted it, it just needed like a pinch of salt to it. So that was it. I added the cover and let it sit and then every 2 minutes or so I will mix the pasta in so that it doesn't stick together and like get hard together. This is how it's looking once it was around halfway done. I took out the chicken, mixed it in, see if it needed any more water, added some water and a pinch of salt and then let it cook and this is looking what it is done this looks so simple but it is such a delicious meal the flavor of the pasta is so good it's so delicious it's just it's amazing it's an easy quick and simple meal but it really is delicious this is how it's looking once it is plated up hope you guys enjoy this video don't forget kindness is free be kind to everyone you meet because you never know the impact they will have on your life until next time bye Baby, can you focus?